you know, speakers, family members, my Secretary General, uh, Sir Anthony Locke, Tan Sri Lim Kit Siang. Uh, first, let me thank uh, Sir Anthony Locke for setting up the DAP Kapa Singh Scholarship Fund. I think that would uh, be very meaningful, not only to students, but also, I think, for the family, uh, that uh, Kapa Singh is, uh, of course, very dear to our hearts. Uh, now, there are a lot of vignettes and uh, anecdotes that I can share about Kapa Singh. But since you mentioned the ISA detention, uh, we all know that Kapal is a legal lion. But he's also an outstanding politician. Um, before I go on the deta uh, ISA detention days, um, you know, he, one of his proudest, he, when he shared with me, one of his proudest uh, legal achievements was, I think when he was handling the uh, Barlow case, uh, those death penalty for the drugs, uh, those possession of drugs from Australia. Uh, he was uh, so passionate. He was very proud of the way, uh, even though, of course, they were sentenced to death. Uh, but he was very proud of the way that the entire case was managed. And I think the Australian public uh, appreciated uh, his outstanding work to the extent that they even made a film of him about that case. Now, how many, I mean, with uh, due respect uh, to our legal uh, experts here, how many lawyers got a film made about them, you know? I think it was really uh, kapasing. Uh, and of course, has a politician, who can forget the videotapes of DP Vichendran? <laughs> Don't ask me or kapasing whether we have seen the tapes. Because that is illegal, you know? I'm not going to answer that question. Uh, I see Gobin smiling at me. Yeah, it was incredible. The entire episode was managed when he surrendered the videotapes to the speaker. I don't know how he managed that because the speaker shouldn't have received the tapes, you know. <laughs> because it's pornographic, one, anyway. So, uh, as a politician, uh, he was outstanding. When you look at the party, DAP, actually, is the two case, Kisiang and Kapal. They were the heart and soul of the DAP. Without Kitsiang and Kapal, DAP would have never made it. We were the largest opposition party and then we went down. We lost badly in the 99 elections until both Kit and Kapal both lost their seats. That was the lowest point of the party. But yet, by dint of courage and determination, both brought the party back up until now we are a partner in government in both state and the federal level. It is because of both men. And Kapa always tells me, why is Kapa so loved by the party? Why is he so loved and respected by the members? Because he loved the AP members. He always tells me, it is terrible to be a DAP member when you're in your position. We got no rewards. We only got persecuted. We lost our freedom. We would almost lose everything. And he cannot stand. He can never stand it when DAP members were condemned or were criticized just for just being a DAP member. That's really for Kit. He says, when they attack Kit, I cannot ahan. I will go out and hammer them back. Because they do not know what this man has gone through for the party and the country. And similarly for Kapal, why is it we love him so much? Because he went through hell for all of us. But despite all his time, he was very devoted to his family. And I must say that without Datin Sri Utama Gurmit call, he wouldn't be Kapal Singh. Thank you, Datin Sri Utama. Let's give her a round of applause. When we were in detention under ISA, you know, Kappa had very severe back problems. I shared the cell with him. So I was his typist. Because I was typing all the legal documents. I could type that. So he saw me, oh, that's very useful, he gives, he come. <laughs> so we were typing all the affidavits. 
all the statement of claims. And that kept him active because, you know, when you're in detention, it is actually not only uh, confining, but the boredom really kills you. And I think at the end of the day, the government finally decided that it's better to have Kapal Singh out than in detention. That's why they released Kapal Singh first and left both myself and my, and my father towards the end. But in detention, he was really, I mean, courageous, determined, and despite, I think, the loss of uh, his legal practice because he was not there, imposing, I think, great financial strain on the family. I think uh, that is true, Tama knows that difficult period. He was fighting all the time. But, and yet, he tells me, Guaning, you uh, young man thinks that you want to stay in detention. Don't. Don't get yourself jailed. Get yourself free. Because we need you to go out there and fight. Fight for the people, fight for the country. You can't do very much when you're detained inside. Only when you're outside, then you can make things happen. And that's the advice he gives to everyone. Of course, now we're in government. At least we don't have that sort of Democles hanging over our heads. But the message was, we need every one of you to fight for our country. Even though when we are in government, we still need to keep on fighting to make sure that the reforms promised can be delivered. We still, I mean, we have hope. Lah. We have hope. We must not lose faith. We must not lose faith. I'm sure the ministers here knows what they need to do. And we trust that they will deliver. <laughs> Finally, he is a Penang Knight. Brought and raised in Penang. I must say this, lah, because not only because I'm from Penang, but because basically he's a Penang Knight. And he is loved by the people of Penang. On the day of his funeral, you could see the genuine sorrow of the people of Penang. And uh, at, at that time, our chief minister, for the first time, we opened Day 1 Street Penang. The main government hall has a funeral week for Kapal Singh. And to remember his contributions, we named Kapal Singh Drive after him. And it's one of the most, it's one of the most loved destinations in Penang. I would just like to end by saying that uh, he's a wonderful human being. We miss him, even though he's 10 years on. But every day, he lives on in our hearts. Thank you very much.